That's a good sound like Diego Z. Hey, Diego Z. Hello. All hey, right. And with us today, we have Mark from Dusk Drones. All right. And? And John Luke from Dusk Drones. <laughs> All right. So what do we have for us today, guys? Um, we're going to show our first game right. as a company of Dusk Drones. Um, it's called Spectrum 6, and it's available for both iOS and Android. It's a 2D puzzle game where you have to spread colored blocks and uh, put them on a designated slots. Mm -hmm. So I the the entire uh, the entire game are composed of more than 60 handcrafted levels. Okay. Right. Could you run us with what's happening right now, like uh, just to give us a an idea? Mm -hmm. um, basically, you have to tap the the colored block, like uh -huh. for this example, uh, the yellow, and yeah. then it will spread on four different sides. Oh, okay, okay. Okay. And then some designated blocks are are com are combination of uh, primary colors. Like for example, this one green. So you have to combine both yellow and blue to come oh. up with green. So you have to combine colors. Yeah. So, so this is a cue for <laughs> you. The 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 what the bar and the below. Oh, okay. So which is why it's also Spectrum Six. Since yeah. You're working very well with colors. For colors. Yeah. What if you're colorblind? <laughs> oh, <laughs> that is a question to be answered in the future. <laughs> <laughs> maybe we'll think of something. <laughs> yeah. that's, a, that's a very good question, yeah. Diego. No, they can address that. Uh, I have a question. How, so, how long has this been game out? Uh, how uh, long has this game been out? <laughs> how long has this been has game this been out? This game uh, has been uh, has been on App Store and well, Apple App Store since August twenty fifth. Okay, so that explains why I've seen this around in my friend's phone. Yeah. Oh, you guys must be really proud. <laughs> <laughs> so it's, it's actually, it's actually, been out for a uh, while. Like, uh, what has the feedback been? Like, how have people um, been receiving the game? Well, actually, we've been shocked uh, because within its first week, uh, it got uh, featured oh, on Apple store. US, both US and Canada App Store. Wow. Okay. So we're well, we're kind of proud with our first game. Actually, you congratulations, yeah. man! That's great. Because I'm looking at it and it's very friendly to the eyes. Uh -huh. It's very, it's very disarming. <laughs> I feel like I could cuddle with it when I get home. <laughs> I feel happy. I feel happy. <laughs> yeah. Um, how, how, what was the hardest part in developing the game? Uh, actually, uh, the designing of levels, mm -hmm. since we have to balance it, and then that's why John Look here uh, may uh, do did the quality assurance, the QA, mm -hmm. so that we can we can arrange the levels from. From easiest to hardest. Oh, okay, okay. So, so the players won't g get frustrated, <laughs> when, uh, even if they're at early levels. Okay. How many levels are in total? For um, this one? sixty plus handcraft handcrafted levels. And yeah. you, uh, and you plan? You guys plan to increase that number as? Yeah, yeah. Time? Actually, we're gonna we're gonna upload an update maybe next year or early next year. Yeah. Oh, oh nice. That's good. So, how how often do you normally uh, patch the games like? Are there still bugs, or it's really as perfect as you yeah, can? Yeah, yeah, as as perfect as you can. Oh, yeah, that's it's great. already it's already you know um, very. I think it's quali high quality, yeah, for okay. us. And we we tried to solve every bug that we found. Oh, okay, that's I'm curious. Great. Like, I want to see like uh, you're. I can understand that you're in the basics area now. Could you show us like the more challenging stages? Um, okay. Hey. Um, Actually, uh, we we made some other mechanics, like for oh, example, the, oh, yes, yeah. the next one. Uh, yeah, I'd know? like to see that. Yeah, yeah. This one. Uh, oh, it's still it's still locked. It's still locked. But we have, I don't know, we have some some cells that have bouncers. Uh huh. Okay. So like the black that, gi that gives a fresh fresh uh, mechanic, fresh gameplay. So okay. that uh, whenever you spread a, a colored block, uh, it will not just spread on on its adjacent cells. Mm -hmm. It I will think you can show this out in a little bit because uh, you're so close to 57 stars. Let's, let's keep going. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, might as well. Let's get it. Let's, yeah, let, it. let's, get, let's get those stars. But okay, so uh, you mentioned uh, that these are all handcrafted levels. Yeah. Uh, do you have a procedurally generated uh, levels level in mind? Like, uh, do you ha is, are those already in game or are those in development? Oh, we're uh, actually we made a level editor for this specific game. That's so cool. So, level editor, so nice. we can try uh, we, we, while while developing the levels, and then we can try it on computer and uh, on a PC. Yeah. So that whenever we build a mobile ver version, uh -huh. all, all is no, all is set up. Oh, that's so yeah. great. All right. So, uh, oh, he's he's getting close. We're on 51 <laughs> stars. Uh, so let's keep going. All right. So, how long has the game been in development? 
Um, we started oh, this. Yeah, how long was it in development? Yeah, we started this uh, last, I think, June, June okay. 2016. So that's when we came up with our name, okay. Dust Drones. Yeah, and then we when uh, we when we released it uh, around August uh, August 25th. And the Android version was released, I guess, last week. Oh, last only week. last week. Yeah. Only oh. last week. Uh, we so congratulations so we can on that. <laughs> yeah. So we can give we can give uh, promo codes for <laughs> for visitors of the booth. Oh, so oh, I'll definitely have to visit your booth <laughs> here at Indy Arena in ESGS 2016. Once again, it's at SMX Convention Center in Mall of Asia. So tell us more about the game. So you developed it for a year. Is that right? For a, no, no, no. Uh, only for for three months. Oh, three months. Oh. oh, that's all within the same year. Yeah, yeah. Oh my god. Last gosh. June. Last June. Ah, it's happened wow. so fast. Yeah. <laughs> good job, good job. Yeah, you guys are doing hey, great. So job. I understand, Dallas, this is your first game. Yeah. I'm and this is your first time to be at ESGS. How does it feel to like, have your game showcased here at this convention? Well, well we're proud, of course. It's uh, the fact that it got featured from the App Store. Mm -hmm. And then we're kind of nervous too, since we don't know if the people, the people, the visitors are going to like it. Mm -hmm. How is it so far? Have people liked it? Uh, uh, well, I think they like it. <laughs> but but they have they have hard, uh, they have a hard time solving s uh, hard hard levels. The hard ah, level, okay. 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 Yeah, so so now we're at the the hard the bouncy bouncy. That's what yeah. we were talking about earlier. Yeah. 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 How is how does this this level work? Um, actually, uh, this like this one, this green uh, block. So it will just oh, extend. Oh, it bounces. It's, yeah. oh, okay. So it will give a fresh fresh gameplay for the players. Oh, challenge. So yeah, it seems uh, makes it a lot fresh, more challenging. Yeah. Fresh uh, challenge. Yeah. Ah. For the level of. So are there multiple levels. types of, uh, of game changers like that throughout the, yeah, yeah. Throughout the game? Yeah, we, we also have so, uh, something like stocks. It's okay. another chapter. Um, what it basically does is if, if this colored block blue will um, spreads, it will stock uh, another blue. So oh. whenever that stock colored block, whenever you spread it, it will spread twice. Oh, okay. okay. So oh, it will oh, give okay. another challenge for players. So every every time you want, every time like you unlock a new set of levels, you always want to change yeah, the gameplay in itself. Yeah. Oh, that's great. So, so how much content yeah. is in the game right now? The, like what, like we said, um, 60, 66, uh, to be specific, 66 levels. 66 um, levels. So okay. I, I believe five of which or six of which are tutorial levels. Okay. So, yeah, so that uh, whenever a new mechanic is, uh, it's been you know it's been present. Um, you, we can we can teach the player how to to maneuver the game. Okay. What made you decide to go with like uh, a a puzzle esque kind of game? Uh, why not go with the uh, you know uh, something that? Why not go with a fighting game or oh. an RPG? Why puzzle? Um, first of all, uh, we're just a two man team when we made this. Oh, so you're just two. Yeah. So oh, I you two? No, yeah, back yeah. then, back then. Back then, the oh, yeah. back then. I okay. actually made the arts. Mm -hmm. So we we don't have any, uh, enough resources to make uh, you know animations and something like that. So we came up with this an abstract game, a simple puzzle. Mm, uh, yeah, yeah. Given okay. the resources, the art is very pleasing. I want to say, and it, it, since, you, uh, since you're the one who came up with it, I, I want to tell you in person that I, I could show my niece or my my my, my nephews yeah. uh, this, and it's something I feel comfy with with you mm -hmm. know bonding with them over because it's so it's so appealing. Yeah, yeah. It, it's so comforting. Colorful. It's colorful, yeah, and it's, it's so subtle, and I just love it. I, I love I love the aesthetic to it. Very simple. Very colorful, yeah. yeah. Something my mom would play, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Actually, we targeted the players that, you know, that are commuting. Oh, yeah. They have uh, three minutes of uh, free time. Something quick. Yeah, yeah something mm -hmm. quick. You play while at work. You hide it from <laughs> the boss. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Don't do that. <laughs> but, yeah, um, do you have any plans of, like, more g other games in the future. Uh, can we give a sneak peek of what you plan to make? Yeah, actually, uh, well, uh, while we are here at ESGS, we we found several games. We, we got inspired. Um, the one that caught my eye is the one, the Bing Glory. Okay. So we, uh, I think it's you know it's fun to make a multiplayer game for for mobile. For mobile. So maybe that, that's the mobile MOBA, right? Yeah. Bing yeah. Glory. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, so you might want to do something in, yeah, that, in that vein. Yeah. Okay. In that and then vein. we're gonna <laughs> show you <laughs> on yeah! next year's ESPS. Yeah! <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, I'm looking forward to that. Yeah. Looking forward right. to that. Hopefully, we're gonna finish it by next year. 
Oh, I mean, I have no doubt you guys did this in three months. Yeah, and yeah you, for a three-month game. Wow. Yeah, and you're knocking down iOS like it was nothing. So <laughs> I'm happy for you guys. I really am. Yeah. Uh, is there anything else you want us to talk about before we before we say goodbye? Um, yeah, plug in where you, where the fine folks at home can find your game. Okay. Um, uh, do check us our Facebook page. Okay. Uh, just search for Dusky Drones and this specific game, a Spectrum Six. Actually, our Twitter Twitter account is at Spectrum Six Game, oh, and okay. our Facebook page is at Spectrum Six Game as, as well. Okay. Oh, and awesome, then awesome. do check us. Uh, do check um, Spectrum Six at Apple Store and Android uh, Google Play Store. Which is just last week, right? Yeah, just, just last week. Just like, all right. Thanks again so much, guys. Thank you. All right, so that's it for the show. Harold, why don't you take us away? All right, let's do this, guys. Thank you so much. You can find us here at Indie Arena at ESGS 2016 for the rest of today. Uh, we'll be here all the way till I think, around 7 o'clock. Until, until, uh, until the gates close. <laughs> until the gates close. If you want to find more about me and Diego, you can go to www.quitstalling.us. It's Quit Stalling Us. Uh, thank you again to XSplit and for uh, Wen in Manila for having us here and interviewing all these fine indie developers. Uh, I, I'd like to thank everyone, and once again, if you want to see more, head on over down. We're almost done here at ESGS. It's day three, so check it out while you still can. All right, we'll see you guys in the next video.